it actually I love the quicksand reference just because I'm someone who's a dreamer. I'm one of those one of those people that thinks that, like if someone says you only have a point one or point zero 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 one percent chance of winning the lottery or making it big, I feel like, well, why can't it be me? I mean, it's gonna it's going to be someone and I feel like I'm one of those people that those good things happen to because I want it, right? But you, you, you talked about, but one thing I've noticed, and it, it ties into what you were saying with the quicksand reference, is it's a mindset, and we can be physically supported by people and physically supported because they're in our presence. However, even though they're physically in, their presence is there, they're, for lack of a better term or phrase, they're being haters. They don't understand, and they can't grasp what you're trying to do, or they feel threatened. So when you're trying to soar, they want to drag you back down. Yeah. What is your advice or how have you, what's been a best practice? How did you find support in the moments when not physically, but maybe emotionally you felt lonely? It is uh, that's a brilliant question, Martin. It's a lonely path. And I talk about this a lot, but um, the path to success is not very well trodden. It's uh, it's surprising. And, and what I found, and this, I, so in my course transformation on the very first activity, I, I, I kind of have a disclaimer type warning in that if you don't want change, don't go any further because everything in your life will change when you decide to take control of your own destiny, everything. So you will probably, in all likelihood, you'll end up living in a different place. In all likelihood, the circle of friends you have right now will completely change. And it's not that you have to kick them out. They will lose interest in you because you're no longer interested in the same stuff as they are. You're no longer satisfied sitting on the sofa watching a reality TV show. You want to read something stimulating. You want to read about an entrepreneur or a, an adventurer or a musician or an artist, you know, depending on whatever you're into. And suddenly other people look at you differently. And I found that in my life. So, so first of all, um, you know, my father started to look at me differently and, uh, and, and there's the issue started at that point. And then my friends didn't even know what to talk to me about anymore. So, you know, cause they just, they were, they were doing the same thing as they've always done sitting in the pub drinking. And I, I wanted to do, I wanted the adventure. I wanted something in my life. So, so I found there is a very lonely time, but then what happens is you find that you attract to yourself another group of people who will support you at this new level that you're at. And then you decide you want to go to another level and then they go away and another group of people come in. And if you're lucky enough as I was to have a constant through that. So I had my wife for all 40 years through that. We met, we met when, the, when uh, we were 19 years old. I was in the Navy, she was a nurse. And uh, she, you know, she was always my sort of, uh, I, I was just happy to be with, be with Lynn. I didn't need anybody else. So it's just the two of us, we were fine. And she used to say the same thing. So we, ne we never felt lonely on that, but, but because I meet a lot of people who start this program later in life. So like they could be 40 or 50. Or, I've got one guy who's 87. Wow. And just started, just started his comp his first company, uh, ex professor of economics at North Carolina University, just started his first company, and he says he feels like a kid again. He feels like life has now been worthwhile. Can't understand why he didn't start thirty years ago. So you just do, you know, when when these things happen, everything around you changes. And so if you're lucky to have somebody who can be with you through that, that's a bonus and a fantastic thing. But you have to be prepared for the fact that that might not be the case, and that for a period of time you're going to feel like it's just you against the world. But it doesn't last long. Once you, once the success starts to come your way, you know, people who are used to success, they come into your life and they don't come in like the old guys would could like guys in the pub for me, they'd be complaining about the weather and complaining about this, complaining about that, they don't have enough money, taxes, all the rest of it, you know, like now this new group of people are coming in and saying, Have you thought of doing this? They have a completely different mindset. Not complaining about anything, but looking at opportunities and looking for new ideas and um, sharing best practices and stuff like that. So everything changes, but you have to be prepared for that. And a lot of people don't like change. So, so that's my kind of warning in my course transformation. You know, if you, if, if you're not ready for change, don't go any further. I'll give you your money back. Um, <laughs> cause it, cause everything will change. Your whole life is going to change for most people. That's a good thing. Okay. 